Evelyn Wamboi and other scientists are busy working at this lab at the International Center for Insect Physiology and Ecology or ICP in Nairobi. She says they are studying a type of mealworm that can eat and break down plastics. This insect is uh, is going to be of help because we've identified first it can consume the plastic, especially the styrofoam, and two, it has a group of bacteria that is helping in the plastic degradation process. Wamboi and fellow scientist Krisanta Zimbi Tanga are among four ICP experts who co-authored a September report in the journal Nature. The advantage with the, this insect is that it is native to Kenya and in Africa in general compared to the other mealworm that has been described in other parts of the world, like the yellow mealworm. And so this makes us to, 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 to have a home-based solution and an insect that has adapted to our climatic environment has been able to survive and, and strive within the, 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 the environment. The UN Environment Programme says plastic pollution is one of the biggest environmental challenges facing the world. There are more than 400 million tons of plastic produced annually, but less than 10% get recycled. The scientists at ICP are studying ways to collect the bacteria living in the worm's guts and find out whether they can be used to manage plastic waste. Those bacteria can be harnessed from the insect and then uh, we do a scale up of, you know, produce uh, millions and millions of these bacteria that can be used to degrade the, the, the polystyrene waste. But some environmental activists aren't convinced the findings will solve the plastic waste problem. We've only found like um, insects that only degrade a certain type of plastics, polystyrene, uh, PET, and we have a lot of forms of plastics. So what of the other forms of plastics? And also, once these insects have eaten these plastics, what uh, is the byproduct? We are not saying that it's a silver bullet, but what we are saying is that it could be an integrated approach in the plastic management, you know, if you can, so if you can uh, bring down plastic degradation by 30 to 50 percent, that would be a very huge um, uh, impact in terms of waste management uh, uh, in the continent. Mutual says the best way to address the plastic problem is to produce less of it. So you have a lot of problematic and uh, unnecessary plastics like the sachets, the PET bottles, which we really do not need, which is like straws and the rest. We need to cut the production of those ones. Mutual says. Kenya is one of the 34 countries that have banned single-use plastic bags in Africa as the continent continues to grapple with the problem of plastic pollution. Juma, Majanga, VOA News, Nairobi.